Page 89, chapter 19, second book of Nephi. Isaiah speaks Masonically, the people in darkness to see a great light unto as a child is born. He shall be the prince of peace and shall reign on David's throne. Compare Isaiah 9. Nevertheless, the dimness shall not be such as was in her vexation, when at first he lightly afflicted the land of Zebulon and the land of the Naphtali, and afterwards did more grievously afflict by the way of the Red Sea beyond Jordan and Galilee, Galilee of the nations. 2. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light, that they that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shine. 3. Thou hast multiplied the nation and increased the joy. They joy before thee according to the joy in the harvest, and as men rejoice when they divide the spoil. 4. For thou hast broken the yoke of his burden, and the staff of his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor. 5. For every battle of the warrior with confused noise, and garments roll in blood, but this shall be with burning in the fuel of fire. 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. 7. Of the increase of government and peace, there is no end upon the throne of David, and upon the kingdom it order it, and to establish it with judgments and with justice from henceforth, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. 8. The Lord has sent his word unto Jacob, and it hath lighted upon Israel. 9. And all the people shall know, even Ephraim and the inhabitants of Samaria, that say in the pride and soundness of heart. 10. The bricks are fallen down, and we will build the hewn stones. The sycamores are cut down, but will change them into cedars. 11. Therefore the Lord shall set up the adversaries of resin against him, and join his enemies together. 12. The Syrians before, and the Philistines behind, and they shall devour Israel with open mouth. For all this his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. 13. For the people turneth not unto him that smiteth them, neither do they seek the Lord of hosts. 14. Therefore will the Lord cut off from Israel, head and tail, branch and rush in one day. 15. The ancient, he is the head, and the prophet that teacheth lies, he is the tail. 16. For the leaders of this people cause them to err, they that are led of them are destroyed. 17. Therefore the Lord shall have no joy in their young men, neither shall have mercy on their fatherless and widows, for every one of them is a hypocrite and an evildoer, and every mouth speaketh the folly. For all this his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. 18. For wickedness burneth as of the fire, it shall devour the briars and thorns, and shall kindle from the thickets of the forest, and they shall mount up the lifting up of smoke. 19. Through the wrath of the Lord of hosts is the land darkened, and the people shall be as the fuel of the fire. No man shall spare his brother. 20. And he shall snatch on the right hand, and be hungry, and he shall eat on the left hand, and they shall not be satisfied. They shall eat every man of the flesh of his own arm. 21. Manasseh, Ephraim, and Ephraim, Manasseh. They together shall be against Judah, for all this his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still.